Before I start the video, I would like to say thank you so much for clicking on this video. My voice is a little bit off, so sorry for that. But if you end up enjoying this content, then please like, subscribe, and maybe even a short sweet comment so I know I'm on the right path to your entertainment needs. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Having finished the 100 days, I think it is appropriate to assume I have as much time in the world to do whatever I want. I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> and with that, I need to organise my chests. Or at least a place to do so. This storage room will be in the shape of a plus sign or the Swiss flag depending on how you look at it. Each side will have storage space along with an open plan banister second floor. Whether or not I try and make it look like a dungeon library is still on the table. Or should I say, walls. Damn bro, you got the whole squad laughing. About half of the way and the shape of it is actually looking decent. I'm undecided if these pillars should have lava in them, or if I should have banisters wrapping around them that would leave more space for something like a chandelier or even an attempt at making a hologram looking chest using stained glass. So much possibility. And that's the middle done, now to mine out the sides. Actually, that'd be funny if I had the storage room with white, with red walls, kind of like the interior of Hulk's room in Ragnarok, but on a two-dimensional plane it would look exactly like the Swiss flag. And now the storage room is fully cleared out. Oh, it looks so good in here. There are even some chests here already to put the cobble I'm going to accumulate in the next project. It took five Minecraft days to clear out the storage area. I don't know how long that is in real life, but it'll put some perspective into this next one. I know the pain, but clearing out the base to Y12 will really put a stamp on whether I want to build further down to bedrock. As I was doing this, I was timing myself. So to get two levels completely cleared out, it was taking about 10 minutes, not being disrupted, by coal, iron and other different goodies. Maybe I should have been doing this once I had a beacon, but honestly, when would that be? Actually, probably very soon with this enchantment book I got from a mineshaft. I'll name this sword, Swad. Using it will help with things like getting shulker boxes, as well as getting wither skeleton heads. Through the days, through the nights, placing my bed, trying to avoid mob fights, inching my way closer to Y12, deeper and deeper that we delve. Finding loads of ores along the way, oops what's that, it's another day. Progressing closer to the bottom I was starting to think of possible wall designs I could have. I was stuck on a couple, but I got a friend to help finalise the decision. Yeah I know, I have friends. Who would have thought? Not me. I didn't know you could actually stack raw ores. That must be something very very new. They actually look like good blocks though. Even blocks of raw gold look better than honeycomb, I'll keep that in mind. After countless hours cooped up at my flimsy IKEA desk, this entire area had been completely cleared out. <laughs> and let me be the first one to say it, it is huge. That's what she said. For the time being, this is definitely big enough for what is needed. That's what she said. But that doesn't stop the possibility that this base could be dug down deeper all the way to bedrock. Now let's get on with the walls. I hardly have enough iron to do one pillar, so until more iron arrives I will be using polish and decite because it looks decent. Pretty much the go ahead with this is that I've just got to dig all the way down to Y12 and then place pillars. I was wanting to do them 5 apart so doing the quick maths I found that I had to do 12 pillars, not too shabby. And with 12 pillars to put up. Luckily we only have enough andesite to cover the cost, otherwise even the most basic part of this base wouldn't be complete and I could finally have a reason to admit I'm a failure. Now finally, with all 12 pillars supporting this mess of a base, I thought I'd depart and look for rose bushes as well as any blue flowers, whether that be blue or light blue. All is not lost because I could use lapis and white dye 
but if I can find flowers for it, then it would be less costly on the enchanting industry. And just like that, red and blue flowers are found. Starting on the walls, I thought it would be better to place the blocks as powder and then just place a water bucket down the side. Absolute genius. I would categorise this as a small build, and even I think this is taking forever. Actually, it really is. I've just spent 35 Minecraft days on this base. To do a little bit of mathematics and 35 days is nearly 12 hours of real life time. I was able to make 20 stacks of red concrete powder, but only 2 stacks of light blue concrete. So on that note, I'll give the rest of the walls a hard pass and complete it another time. After my little quarter life crisis spending 12 hours on a base, I managed to complete the red walls. The parts between it will have light blue and look something like this. Or if you want a comparison, it looked like those old 3D glasses you'd get from cinemas made from cardboard that would dig into your ears throughout the movie. Thing is, is I used to use random bands of cloth like elastic and wrap it around the ears to stop it from digging. I actually felt amazing and felt like I came up with something you'd find in 5 minute crafts. But nonetheless, this is an amazing build that would put loads of iconic landmarks to shame. Overall, I would call this complete with just the need of a couple of touch-ups. If you have ideas for any other rooms that I should make, then feel free to give a suggestion in the comments. If you like this video, then please be sure to like and comment. If you wish to see more of my beautiful face, then please be sure to subscribe for future videos. It's been your boy Pomegranate, and I'll catch you guys later.